Okay, I'm showing you how to make your Dialos particle counter, your DC 1100 or 1100 Pro into uh, a battery operated unit because that makes it way more convenient uh, to be able to take places and uh, take air samples and air quality testing wherever you want to go. Uh, normally you're stuck with a wall cube adapter and you got to plug it in and that's the only way you can power it. And if you want to spend more money and get the other battery operated unit, with a simple conversion will let you use it battery operated anywhere you want. Um, the wall cube adapter is just household current, it converts it into 9 volts DC. So you just need to make your own power supply and to give you give the dilos uh, its 9 volts that it needs DC. Um, what I did here, this is a battery holder and, uh, and this is a 5.5 a millimeter jack and I just wired it up here to the battery holder. The battery holder actually came um, got this on eBay, it came with a 5.5 millimeter jack but I I just cut it and put an extension wire here just to make it longer. And this battery holder takes uh, eight AA cells, which if you use um, alkaline, you're gonna get 12 volts, which is too much. So I'm using the chargeable batteries, which are only about 1.3 volts. So there's seven of them, which gives me about 9.1 volts here, because rechargeables are about 1.3 volts typically. Um, and I'm using seven cells, and it's an eight AA, hol eight AA holder, and this is a dummy battery at the end here. I got that on eBay. You can make your own with just a screw or a piece of wood and just uh, wrap it totally in twin foil because you don't want to use 8-8 uh, eight, eight rechargeables with too much power. Anyway, this will give me my 9.1 volts. You, all you do is you plug it in like that and you can use your your unit uh, battery operated. This one comes with a cover. So I can cover it up like this. Just like so. And there you go. I can take it portable, take it uh, pretty much anywhere I want. These ones have a switch on the bottom. Where is it? Yeah, it's got a switch right here, an off and on switch. There, it's off. Now it's on. Um, one note about about the uh, this unit anyway is um, when if I shut the dialos off like this, it is actually still drawing power from my battery pack for some reason. I don't know why. So what you want to do is either disconnect it when you're not using it, or if your battery holder has a switch like that, just switch it off and on. Okay, plug it back on. So this actually is a Dialos DC 1700 battery operated unit, but I'm using it on the, um, the wall cube adapter mode right now. I'm not even using it on the internal battery. To do that, I'd have to use a switch. If I switch it up, now I'd be using the internal battery. If I switch it back down, this would be using my power pack right now. Um, other people suggested to me you can use uh, a 9 volt battery and just wire up your uh, a 9 volt battery with a snap lead here like you see. Make sure you get your polarity correct. But I don't think a 9 volt battery would last very long though, but you could try it if you want. This one lasts a long time. These. Uh, these rechargeable AA cells actually last a lot longer than the internal battery in this, uh, in this counter does. Um, something else to note, the, uh, the tip is positive on here. On this wall cube adapter it says positive tip. So a multimeter would come in handy uh, just so you get your, your polarity properly because you want a positive power on the tip and uh, negative on the outer shell so you don't uh, damage your dialos. And uh, I'm just using speaker wire to extend the length of the wire that came with the, the battery holder. And you don't have to do any soldering. All I did is I stripped the wire and I twisted it together and then taped it to make sure it doesn't short out. You don't really have to solder it. But um, the simple conversion will convert your Dylos DC 1100 Pro and you can tuck your wires and make them short as you want, whatever. And there you go. You'll have a, your particle counter nice and portable. Um, this is a DC 1700 and it does have a few features above and beyond what the other ones have because this one time stamps. This one time stamps your, uh, your sample and the other ones don't. And this one is 0.5 microns on the left and 2.5 on the right. Uh, I think the uh, Dios DC 1100 is, uh, is uh, 1 micron and, uh, and 5 microns. And the 1100 Pro is 0.5 like this one. And this one hooks up to a computer also. Um, but uh, 
this modification is great because it's it's so convenient to be able to take this different places. And even though my uh, my Dialos DC1700 is battery operated, I find it's quite hard on batteries and takes a long time to charge. So this is a great backup uh, battery pack to have for my uh, even even my uh, battery operated unit. Like I say, this is very hard on batteries and drains them pretty fast. My homemade pack with my AA rechargeable will last way longer um, than the internal battery will. But um, I hope this modification helps uh, you uh, fellow particle counter users and feel free to leave comments.